Now when adding genies to the project, you can do this in two different ways. Depends if you know what the IP address is or it's on the network already, or you may not know it because you're adding it to a, um, at a later date. If you right mouse click on NTG4s, you can see we can add by scanning the network looking for genies or can add manually. In this example, I'm going to scan the network and look for them. When it scans the network, it'll give you a list in the discovered units of all the genies it's found um, on the network. On my example, I'm going to select the bottom one. Now, if you weren't sure which one it was, I can click the locate button, and when I click that, the status light on the particular genie that I've got selected will start flashing to tell you that that's the genie that I want to connect. Um, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click Add to, um, to Project. And when I do that, the first thing it's going to do is tell me, because this is a new genie, it's telling me it's set for DHCP and it's advisable to put a static IP address. So I can acknowledge that um, and thanks for the recommendation. I can also tell me that it needs a firmware update. Again, it's great because I know from this project that I'm using there is a later firmware and we should be updating the genie. So again, I can click OK. When I'm happy with that, I hit Done and our need new genie is added. If I click on the genie here, it'll give us the status related to that genie. But to change the settings, I can right mouse click on it, select properties, and from there we can see all the IP settings for this particular genie. First of all, we've got the MAC address, which we shouldn't change, of course. Um, we've then got a name. You can give the genie a name something that is, uh, makes sense to you for the project. It may be, you know, Genie installed in equipment rack, Genie behind the living room TV or wherever the location is, so it makes it easy for you to find later on. For this example, I'm going to call it Demo. At the moment, it's set for use DHCP. It's always advisable to change it from DHCP. Put a static IP, that way you know it's not going to change at a later date um, and we can always find it. So I can unhit DHCP, change the IP settings to set the network it's going to be installed in. If I'm happy with that, um, or once you've made the changes, we then hit on apply settings to the genie. I apply those settings, um, it'll then write to the genie and then we're done. Once we've got the genie set, um, I can then update the firmware if it needs updating. And to do that, I select the genie, click on tools, Firmware Updater, and again it scans and we see the list of the genies we've got here. So I'm going to select the one that we've got, and it's going to tell me that the current firmware is 1.074. It's telling me for the project editor, the later version is 1.093. So to update that firmware, we simply click on Update Firmware. Um, it's going to remind us that if we do this, it's going to delete any macros that may have been in the genie. I'm happy with that because it's a new genie. I haven't done anything. So I hit um, OK. The unit will then go off and start updating the genie's firmware. This only takes a few seconds to complete as it scans through. Okay, now once it's complete, it's telling us we need to power cycle the genie. So on my genie here on my desk, I would power it down, power it back up again. It doesn't take long to boot up at all. Okay, we're back up again. I can then hit discover and we get it back again. When I hit genie this time, it tells us we've got the new firmware. But that's only part of it. The other thing we need to do is to update the web pages on the Genie. So we're going to hit Update Web Pages, which it tells us the web pages are located in Firmware Web Pages. So now I need to navigate to there, so I can browse. And when I browse, I go to C Drive, Project Files, Nest which is the subdirectory it defaults into when install project editor. The project editor cycle down to firmware. Here we go. Firmware and under web pages we'll see the bin file um, for there. So just recapping on that, it's C program files, NES, 
in touch journey project editor firmware web pages I select the file hit open hit update and it's update successful now the other thing we need to do which isn't mentioned here is we need to recycle the power once more so I'll power the genie down power it back up again I can close this and we're back and running and we've got everything updated we've updated the firmware updated the web pages added to the project and we're good to go to use this genie on the project